Beardo Benjo. There we go. Straight back into terror. Oh, hello. Hello, mate, up there. With your little hood on. Where are you going? Hello. What am I doing? Oh, Keep going. Oh, I can hear him. You keep getting closer and closer. What are you planning to do? Stop me. You will fail. As did all those who came before you. Get a bit dark. What is this place? <sighs> Beats me. I ain't got a bloody clue what's going on. I get that it's startling, but the dog was already dead. You saw it die. Turn back, little girl. I don't think I will. I don't think I will. I'm going to take that. Take that knife. And I'm going to take that moth key. I still don't know what they do, but I'm going to take it. kind of looks like the reception of old x-rays. It's like an old uh, hospital down here. It's like an old doctor's surgery. Very nice. I need a save point, really, don't I? Oh my god! Oh my god! There's one. What happened here? We were here earlier, remember? At the start of the game, you had a nail gun. We died. Save it. It's time to save it. Okay, it's a new day. I've had a sleep, and I'm coming back to finish this game. I don't hate it, <laughs> but it is not as good as the first. It's got a lot of issues. Um, quite glitchy. Uh, I say quite gl glitchy. It's, it's, it's very glitchy. Um, it just feels like it, it needed a little bit more time to cook. Um, what is that? Skills. Oh my god, I knew there was going to be some kind of skills tree to upgrade. I've heard this game's only about three and a half, four hours long. And I'm about two hours in and it's only just now giving me the blooming skills. I shouldn't be mad, though, because it means I might be able to survive a bit more. Okay, um, I've got 160 moth keys, and it is the moth keys that upgrade your skills. Good to know. Right, uh, shadow reduces noise when moving and improves proficiency inside hiding spots. That's good. Sprint duration. Block doors and keep stalkers away. Well, that's awesome. Increase proficiency with defense items. Improves health recovery. These are all very, very worthy. Okay, so immediately I want the reduce noise when moving. My stealth is rough. I need that to be better. Um, let's do that a couple of times. Let's do this barrier thing. That sounds great. Sprint duration. Yeah, let's get that up as well. What else we got? Uh, special abilities when health is critical. That's cool. Add a chance to obtain special bonuses when picking up items. Okay. Oh, so I might pick up a moth key. All right. Uh, improves proficiency when using Moth Eye. Moth Eye is very good. It's worth using a lot. Honestly, Shadow needs to be almost right to the top. Alright, I'm taking Shadow right to the top. Okay. Because the stealth element of this game is kind of most of the game. So the stealthier I can be, the better. Um, let's do my defense items up. Let's do health recovery. Let's do all these at least once. Yeah, all of them at least once. I've got 40 left. What else can I do? Um, one out of five times upon finding a quick defense item, it will already have a corrosive power up. That's kind of cool. Noise from movements reduced at 4%. Reduced to 4%. Okay. Is that one again? That one again. Right, okay. Spent all my skills. I should be in a better place now. Everything is at least level one. Some are level two. The sneaky skill, Shadow, is level five. I, sh I should be in a better place. 
I wonder if I get an opportunity to come back to this spot too. Alright, I wonder if I do get an opportunity to come back to um, upgrade my skills some more. Yeah, another little missing milk carton. There's a lot of them around. Incredible amount. I haven't really checked around here for any moth keys. There could be some around. So a quick gander before I leave. Oh my god. Oh my god. What happened here? Why is she freaking out all of a sudden? Iron wire. Moth key. Yeah. Oh, no, get off. I don't want you to do it yet. All right, there's one moth key. Why can I move that? Does it... Okay, I might want to put that back there. Let's move that. There has to be a reason why I can move it. Okay. So that puts that there. So that looks like I can climb up on it and get into the vent. That's cool. Alright, I found a moth key. How much is, a, is one moth key worth? Ten. Okay, so I can do another level two. Let's... Let's do my diversion items. Oh, this is cool. I'm, I'm like upgraded now. Maybe I'll um, maybe I'll be able to do a little bit more. All right. Off we go. Um, no, this that's the way I came in, isn't it? That power's got nothing. Something switched on. Oh. Oh, a TV switched on. Wyman couldn't possibly have used the business's finances to fund the experiments without someone noticing, which means that Ashman knew everything. Twenty-five million pounds to, to, to Stefano Ashman from the Rossa Gallo farm. Oh, from Ariana Gallo. That's crazy. Twenty-five million pounds. Imagine what you could do with twenty-five million pounds. Oh, it's light in here now. I can actually see what I'm doing. Alright. I guess I need to go up there into that vent. Or can I go through this door now? No, can't go through the door now. Okay. Interesting. Where am I supposed to go? I want to get in there. But I don't know how. Uh, at least I think that's where I want to go. Oh, hello. No wonder. While everyone thought you were dead, you were down here playing the role of the happy surgeon. Okay, so Wyman's not dead. He's been down here mucking around with bodies and things. Uh, the ongoing investigations regarding Professor A.E. Wyman's suicide haven't produced significant evidence to keep the case open. The suicide bears some mysterious clues which suggest that it may have been staged. However, the authorities have decided to terminate the investigations and close the case. Oh, okay. I don't really know what else I'm supposed to do down here. Can't interact with anything else. Um, I went out there and turned the power on. That turned the TV on. I can't push this any further, can I? Oh, this is how it all started. Gloria managed to obtain control of the other nuns, becoming Mother Acrunchia. Okay, so that's what's happening. It's like a mind control thing, isn't it? There's like one Mother Acrontia, and then they control all the other people. So that's what's happening in this building at the moment. Everyone else is like going crazy, but there is one person controlling. I managed to reproduce the connection of the moss to their mother, Acrontia. Synthesizing the parasite is what made Phenoxyl Prototype 2 a success. The sisters of the Christo Moronti see me as their leader, an extension of their own thought. To justify the photophobia which they inherited from the Acrontia, I convinced them that the damage to their sight was instead a gift from God. However, I have identified one who attempts to prevail over her companions, Gloria Ashman, and often rejects me as the leader. I am beginning to feel the influence she has on others. As an antagonistic leader as new mother Acrontia. If the thing were to get out of hand, I will have no other choice but to opt for a collective hypnosis, despite the risk of entering the porcelain phase, the fracture. What is this porcelain phase? Oh. 
created as a byproduct of synthesizing the moth parasite known as Acherontia. Its use leads to a parasitic infection. By emulating the moth's behavior, phenoxyl can result in a collective hypnosis in which multiple individuals are forced to obey a leader or a mother Acherontia. That makes sense. Collective hypnosis. The leader uses a person known as the medium as a channel and amplifier for other subjects. When the medium is surrounded by mirrors to simulate a fragmentation of the mind, the parasites awaken and spread. The start. The leader uses a recall element for the medium called the anchor. This can be a nursery rhyme or a song, and it's this that initiates the hypnosis. Okay. The acquires full control over everyone else through the medium. A collective consciousness starts. The ending. The leader can interrupt the loop by awakening the medium with a push, another nursery rhyme or a song. When the infected subjects and the medium wake, everything that happened during the hypnotic phase is forgotten. The collective consciousness breaks. The fracture. If a collective hypnosis is abruptly interrupted, there is a risk of fracture also called the porcelain phase. Uh -huh. Here, the leader's consciousness becomes fragmented and is then absorbed by the medium. The body of the leader becomes wholly controlled by the Acherontia, while the leader's mind remains trapped inside the medium, gradually unable to control his own body. Meanwhile, the parasite continues its expansion in the infected subjects. Collective hypnosis will occur regularly Interesting. until another potential leader intervenes to break the looping cycle. So I, what happened? So I kept being told to break the break the loop or break the cycle. So does that mean I'm gonna have to become the new leader? I'm assuming Wyman was the leader and something went wrong, it's fractured, because this is the room of all the mirrors, look. And he was living down here, and now he doesn't have control of his body, which is that big thing walking around with a big spine stick. What's that? And the hypnosis it just looks continues like to a light spread. Coming from that wall. There is light coming from this wall, which is very odd. Should I push it back? It's a hidden door. Oh, that did it! Hidden door. Oh dear, crows. Projection room. Alright, let's have a little nosy around. Moth key, hell yes. Alright, I'm all about them moth keys now. Now that I know they serve a purpose and they're going to give me some juicy, juicy upgrades, I'm all about it. Um, Alright, let's create one of those and let's create one of those. I like a knife, a nice corrosive knife to um help me kill everybody. Reroute power to the projection room. Okay, will do. Moth key, come on, moth keys. No, don't go in there, there's something on the floor. I think it's another moth key. I want the moth keys. Get out of there. Oh, it's iron wire. Not as interesting. Did Wyman really believe that it was possible to suppress pain or a disease with a fucking psychotropic? Is it supposed to be the myth of the super fucking man? The super fucking man, not just the superman. Phenoxyl, the evolution of psychiatry. The human mind itself is responsible for the emotional, physical, and sensory inhibitions of the organism, such as fear, pain, and disease. These factors limit the survival, development, and evolution of the genus. Phenoxyl, through hypnosis, will prove itself to be the only means of breaking down and suppressing, repressing human barriers. Desensitizing the organism, it is all in our heads, a conviction of weakness, even death itself. Oh, I can look at the time. Oh, they've all stopped. Quarter past three. I love that slamming through the doors, it's great. Lots of missing children on lots of different uh, milk cartons. I'm collecting them all. I don't think they give me anything other than just a collectible. 
Moth key. Oh, I've got a lot. I'm going to get so upgraded. It's going to be crazy. Right, how do I reroute the power? Oh, I don't like the noises. Moth key. Take that. Okay. Where do I go to reroute the power? I guess back to the... To the projection room. No, that is the projection room. I need to reroute the power to the projection room. I guess that's... Is that, there's that one power switch, which is back... Bingo. Yeah, there's, there's a, a power switch that's back here, isn't there? That's the only power switch I know of. This one. Right, that's done it. That was easy. Let's do a bit of upgrading as well. I've got some more moth keys. Another another forty, very good. Um, let's do. Let's do. Time to activate sound versions is plus. Let's do my moth eye thing because that is actually really helpful. Uh, let's do my sprint duration and my. Crafting of goodies. That white screen. Okay. Oh, feeling good now. Feeling good about the game. I'm getting, oh god. I'm getting nice and leveled up. Okie dokie. Let's play the film. There he is. Have a seat, mate. Albert, a nice wipe in here. I convinced one of the new arrivals to set the cottage on fire. All the twelve nuns were there. Why did you do that? The second production prototype was an utter disaster. The subjects who have been injected suffered serious side effects, such as blindness. Their retinas became extremely photophobic and the their vision was permanent. It's a real person, not CGI. And the Ashmans used me as a scapegoat. Definitely a real person. Goddamn traitors. And despite everything, I managed to convince them on the Ashman to offer me some protection. I was left with no choice but to stage my own death. The parasite had completely crippled the Mun's minds. They had gone mad. They, they used to recognize me as the leader, but once the parasite started taking over, I was expelled from the hierarchy. I was no longer the mother at Ronosha, and because of them, the disease started to spread in the nearby area. I too was soon infected. Oh dear. I never thought that Gloria Ashman would survive the fire. I... She intends to take the role of Mother Archenosha. So I can't let her do that. I, I have to carry out a group hypnosis in order to get everyone to kneel to me again. Her two were storing me as their leader. Power hungry men. Always the cause of bad things. Interesting. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Fuck. Not again. What, what the hell is going on now? Why was there a baby cry then? Look, these snow globes are definitely meant to be collectibles. There's one under the chair. I found so many in this playthrough and you can't interact with any of them. Wait, what? Who said that? There you are. 
Oh, there's like a little... Right, there's a baby in the door. Probably not great. Well, how do I get through there? Oh, can this place? Can hear him whistling. All these clothes and these toys. What does it all mean? Why do I keep saying, there you are? Well, Where have I ended up? Oh, he's going to be in that pile of dolls. Almost certainly. This ain't great. Oh. How did it end up here? Got me nail gum. It's going to be okay. It's the loudspeaker, okay. Keep saying there you are. Oh, she looks pissed. All right. Oh, okay, I've got my nail gun now. That's great news. That is great news. And a moth key. Did I not tell you that that's exactly where he'd be? Ah, I shot you. Ah, stop it. Oh my god, run away is my objective. Get up and run then. Ah! I don't like him. Get out! Get out! Where am I running away to? Ah! Cage lights. Oi! Take that! <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be shooting him with that uh, nail gun. I assume not. Cage lights. Here's one. What was that? Come here. I've got to track him over. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, he's coming now. Take that, you sick bastard! Uh oh, I'm backing myself into a corner. Where's the door? There. Get in, get in. Ah! It's gone. It's gone. Was that it? Oh my god, that's the easiest boss fight this game's given me so far. What a relief. Okay, now what? Turn the power back on, I guess? I think that's what the objective was. Look at that. Unlock and use lounge room telephone. Apparently I still haven't done it even though it was the first thing I did in the game. Uh, do, 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 do. Ask for help, use the microphone. Okay, is the power off? Should I be trying to turn it back on? I don't think I can interact with that anymore. No, I can't interact with that anymore. All right, uh, let's go back to the microphone. Oh, I can't believe I took him down that easily. It makes me suspicious that he might not actually be dead. What was that there? Moth key. Thank you very much. Right. Where's the little secret room? And a microphone. Is there? Uh, test. There we go. Anybody there? Lynn, can anyone hear me? I'm trapped down here. Can somebody help me? Lynn! Lynn, tell me you're there! Anyone! Somebody! Somebody help! I'm down here in this shithole! She swears a lot. Lynn! Lynn! If you're there, can you hear me? That ain't gonna be Lynn. No. Oh, it's okay. Lynn. Christ, Lynn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was never upset with you. It's okay. 
okay. I understand. I'm fucked up. And you are right about everything. Jen? Tears appeared on her face. Oh. And that's the end of that chapter. Oh, it's the old movie they said they'd watch together. That's sweet. This game is so strange. Both good dancers. They have tons of films here. This place isn't so bad after all. <laughs> Just kidding. Did they? No. Seriously. Did they say they were professional dancers? I don't think they did. You were the only thing that has ever made me feel alive. I want to start over from scratch. Hmm. It's quite sweet. There is quite a sweet story here. Just buried under some Explain to me. pretty rough around the edges gameplay. Oh, okay, what are we doing now? We have to be quiet. Ashman always keeps some cash in the office for small emergencies, etc. Got a little flashback. Yes, yes, I like getting myself into trouble. Let's call it a compensation for our services. I wonder if I'll also find my violin. I haven't played it in ages. How long ago did you get here? It will be two years in November. I needed a roof over my head. Ashman was rebuilding his new project, the hotel. So, here's the new maid. What about you? How was the Flemington Girls and whatever it's called? Mm, it wasn't bad, more than anything. Well, I couldn't bear the other girls. We're here. And before that? It's quick. I ran away. At least, that's what I remember. Lynn, it's a sad story. I left it in the past. Do you ever feel the urge to rewrite it all? Change life? Change name. Feel like a whole new person. All the time. Locked, obviously. Obviously. Not now. Wait, I can try to force it. Have you done it before? Um, no, but I've seen it being done. So, you became a professional after watching it being done. Yeah, just kick it down. No, but I'm a quick learner. <laughs> well, hun, let's roll up our sleeves. Can you Do imagine it. Ashman's face when he finds out we used his money to pay for train tickets, hotel, and the contest sign-up fee? Go. Oh, yes, he will lose his shit. Break the order. What's happening? Are you meant to be breaking the door down right now? Jennifer, what are you doing? I think you're supposed to be trying to break the door down right now. Oh. Ah. I'm supposed to be finding a way in. I knew it. And I did it. I found a way in. So this is going to be the story of how she broke her arm, basically, because they went to this contest. I think that's where it went wrong and she got her cast. So something's obviously happened there between um, Jennifer or Celeste and Lynn or Lindsay. Oh. Oh, hello. She had a funny turn. This place is like a museum. In you come. come out. Okay. Did you find something? 
Search for cash. Nothing. Right, there's gonna be cash somewhere in there. Cash money in the bank. Right, where are we where are we gonna look for some cash? Behind the painting. What do we have here? Oh, immediately? Immediately found it. Oh no, that's a gun. That's not cash. Look at this. Let's go crazy, would you say? Where did you find that? And what are you planning to do with it? Shoot you. I almost forgot. You finished it. I convinced myself that we should take part in the contest. We have to try it immediately. But how? I'll show you. Help me out. What are you doing? The hell? They're not going to make noise, though, the keys. <laughs> it's going to be really obvious you've been in his office now. Sing. But how? Pretend you can hear the music. I'll guide you. like that scene from Ghost, except with a imaginary piano. Is she singing? Am I supposed to be able to hear the singing? I can't hear the singing. <laughs> Sounds pretty jazzy. that timing we have to leave now you just drawn a piano all over his desk he's gonna know you were here what the hell honestly the cutscenes end so abruptly I never know if it's the actual end of the cutscene all right we're back in we're back into some playing that's good. That's what I like to hear. What have we got? Nothing. No diversion item. Well, one diversion item. I've got a bottle now. I can't sprint anymore. Oh. It's starting to get into my head. It's starting to go a bit wrong. There's probably one too many cutscenes in this. Um, cutscenes are quite lengthy as well. Okay, so I'm still finding moth keys, so surely I should be able to get back to that um, upgrade room later on in the game. I haven't completely dismissed that then, which is good. Don't mind me, Lynn. I'm just checking every cupboard for moth keys. Oh. The hell was that? No, not again. Something's happening and I don't know what it is. It's none of your business, Cooper. What's happening? I think Lynn's been grabbed by something, but it didn't show me. L Lynn? You you alright? No, she's gone. Use the moth eye to stop Alisa. Alright, guess I'm going through. I still can't sprint. 
But how do I get out there? It's got to be... Okay, I go through there, can't I? Oh! oh. He just came strolling in. Look how slowly the moth eye is filling up to be ready to use. I, I have to do something. I have to stop Elisa. I know, but at the moment you have to just hide from that guy with a massive spine sword stick. So don't worry about it at the moment. Oh, he's coming back. I can't. I can't. Shush. That's going to take ages for the moth thing to refill. Look at it. It's only just got to halfway. Come on, come on, come on. Right, okay. Fuck. Right, hide from porcelain while waiting for that to regenerate. That's done. Now what? Now I guess I just use it and hope he don't see me. Right, I think I need to go through this little vent up here. Oh, that collects! Oh my god, you collect them when you're in moth vision. Why are you doing this? Oh, bugger off you. Uh oh. He's quite quick. Where do I need to send this moth? Come on, come on. Moth, go in there. And then go out there. And get her. Yeah, take that. Eat my moths. It hurts. You should. Moths in your eyes. Meet Lynn in the garage. Right. Lynn, let's go. He knows where I am straight away. Look at him. Immediately. I was hiding. Right. Get rid of his moths. Right, moths are gone. Now I can shoot him. When I get some distance. Ah, I missed. Oh, come on. Missed again, I think. His reach on that thing is insane. Moths. Yeah, I'm doing that. Take that! Ah! <laughs> Fuck it. Just keep shooting him. Okay, you can shoot rapid fire with this thing, I didn't realise. Just blast him with it and don't even aim for the head. Take this. Ah! Is this hurting him? Ooh, that hurt. Run. I can't just shoot him with this thing all day. I'm so confused. So confused! So, all the instruction I'm getting is shoot the hanging lights. I shoot the hanging lights, and the moths go to the lights. That gets rid of his shield. And then what? I can't just keep shooting him forever. I didn't do anything! I thank you! Oh, I did something then. No, let's dodge that his way. That's rubbish.
Where's he going? Where's he going? What the hell just happened? He just ran away for a minute. Understand. Right. Shoot the lights. He keeps running off into these little things now. Why did it just work so quickly that time? I'm so confused. I literally just played. An entire round of that there, which lasted for about 10 minutes with me shooting the lights to get rid of the moths, then shooting him a bunch with the nail gun. And he just kept going and going and going. I pumped him with probably 100, 150 nails. That time he just decides to get into the air duct and bugger off. It's so random. That's been my biggest complaint with this game is I don't, I don't think they even really know what triggers certain events. I'll try the same thing over and over and over and then... All of a sudden, one time it will work. It is very random. All right, I guess I'm getting in the car now. Let's get the hell out of it. Off we go into the night sky. Are you all right now, are you? Too late. We did it! We did it! I don't see anyone following us. That's good. What did you do down there? In the loudspeaker control room? I... Simply took out the cables. <laughs> Why did you do it? I I don't understand. I ended the sequence. You're free. That's exactly what they wanted you to do. The exact reason why you ended up in this fucking place. I, in one way I, or another, porcelain kept us all guarded. Someone else will take his place. And it's going to be ten times worse. Why are you so mad at it's me? It's only a matter of time. Oh, Jen, you shouldn't have. Like I was supposed to know that. never let me leave. Why are you involved in this too? Explain, for God's sake. What did you do? I had warned you not to touch anything. Not to trust anyone. Enough of the stuttering! And the child is dreaming in REM face. The riddle. And on open wings, a moth is a place. And when his mother screamed that much... Bestowed its touch. What? I told you to leave. To leave this godforsaken place. <laughs> what the hell was that? They found us. It never left us. Are they on the roof of the car? Walking about. You're driving at quite high speeds. So that's impressive. the most confusing game I've ever played in my life. We needed that girl. She was our only hope of getting rid of porcelain. You knew it very well. Jennifer was your daughter. From what I know, you liked her too. You... You need to shut your mouth, you fucking rapist! Oh, Jesus. How vulgar. Felton deserved. How could I have known that he was so capable of conceiving? I thought that fucking him was enough to remind him that he is just a pussy. And to punish him for stealing Ariana from me. Fucking son of a bitch! It was you who insisted so much that I reminded you of the whole story. At the end of the day, we're just chatting. <laughs> Jennifer, I have t to stay. What does that mean? You want to quit now? We are in deep trouble. Can't you see? Let's leave our troubles here. Let's leave. We can start over. <laughs> I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> the contest. Do you not understand? You have to leave. Holy shit, we know. There's no 
no use. They will never let us leave. I belong to this place. Lynn, you have to listen to me. Put that thing away! Ah, that's how she got shot in the old arm. Honest, it would have been better for everyone if you had done it that same night. Lynn. 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 You won't do it, Mr. Ashman. Oh, yes, Lynn. <gasps> She is Lynn. That's why she's looking for Celeste, because they were youthful Adam, lovers. Would you like to stop? I doubted myself so many times. I often pondered on it. Believe me, would I have had the same courage? How does someone who's about to lose everything feel? If that person has already lost everything once before. I would have done the same for my sister. If only I had a chance. Why are okay. you so obsessed? Do you not see what this insatiable server has led you to? I was only a child. And why then? You used me! The nuns. Gloria. She was your sister! Shut your fucking mouth! Do it. Please, shoot me. Come on. What will the young lady at the reception desk say? The young lady at the what? <laughs> 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 Who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> 5 p.m. Poor thing. She left just after your arrival. <laughs> Shoot him. There's no one else here besides you and I. Well, almost. We're so happy you came back, Lynn. Like old times, remember? Oh, porcelain's gonna be there. Only between old friends. Dun dun dun. You don't deserve to die. You deserve a much worse ending. You deserve to suffer by living in agony, as I did for the past 19 years, by rebelling during the last hypnosis. The one that should have stopped Gloria and her Acherontia. It only slowed down things. The after effects that Wyman feared. The fracture. The porcelain phase. Nevertheless, you were somehow left linked to one another. And now you are once again a single being. A unified conscience. Let me out of here! Do you not understand? Wanted to? And whilst Felton and I desperately searched for a way to use Phenoxyl to forget, Wyman replaced the holes in our memories with his own. He inserted his conscience in our minds. And do you know the reason why he did it, Lynn? Fuck up! He was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Now you are. I am not following this story at all. It has lost me. So I understand that I am Lynn, and I grew up with Celeste, um, and I've been searching for her, which is what kind of led me to the first remothered, not searching for her. But all this stuff about 
Acheronchia and I mean final phase and porcelain phase. Oh, it's, it's losing me. Come on, get up, get up, Lin. The remote. Come on, read. You can do it. Reach the remote. Come on. What do you want me to do? Reach! Reach! Yes! Yes! You were yes. nowhere near! Unbelievable. Oh, cool. Down the corridor I go. Whee! Ow. <laughs> yes! The door! Oh, it's I'm supposed to do that. In. Come on. I have to keep trying. Let's get a good run up on this one. Go. You completely missed. You caught that right up, Lynn. Alright. Okay, this one's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Give it, go, uh, missed it again. This isn't going well. Come on, smaller, smaller one. That's it. That didn't do anything. Come on. Crash through the door. Why can't I crash through the door now? Alright, let's go right back to the end of the corridor. I can't turn left or right. So I'm just going on a... Okay, here we go. I'm on like a fixed path, I think. Yeah. Oh, she skidded through it. That was cool. It's like Fast and Furious. It's Tokyo Drifting. Noises are a bit much. Jesus. You can do it, Reed. You can do it. I really liked her in the first game, which was a really cool protagonist. In this one, fuck you, fuck you, you piece of shit. But it is you who completes the puzzle. She seems to be. Oh God. She seems to be much, much more breasty in this one and kind of... She walks very slowly. She's got like a bit of a... bit of a... a swagger to her walk, which is very strange. They've definitely done something to her character model. The last Jennifer, or however you prefer, she... My things. The cassette player. Maybe I can use it. Doors all chained up. door! That's not great. Um, okay. There's an A, just like as a that's a big A over there. Look, I'm gonna head towards that A. What is that A telling me to look in this drawer? There better be something good in that drawer because you've been telling me to use it for. No, nothing really in that. Why was it? Why is that A on there? Just oh, it's gone now. Thank you. Okay. What are we going here? The Keeper. Those who love always remember, always preserve. The new masterpiece from the best-selling author, Madame Svenska. Lovely. Oh, unlock voice. Unlock safe by voice recognition. That's what the cassette player's for. How do I use the cassette player? Right, cassette players. Did that do anything? No. Doesn't seem like it did. Okay, so holding left trigger gets your cassette player out as long as it's equipped, and then pressing right trigger stops recording, I think. I guess I need to get close to the voice. It sounds well close here. Fucking door. Don't you understand? We're all part of the same. It sounds like it's coming from there. Accept it. Definitely sounds like it's coming from there. Damn. 
It's locked. Speakers, I guess. Okay. It was not anchored in this place, but it is you who completed the puzzle. You were the missing piece. Oh. Fuck. Son of a bitch keeps rambling on and on. Well, I did it. Okay. Alright, just recording near the um, speaker seemed to do the trick, I think. Let's try. Moment of truth. Why won't you give up? Don't you understand? From this limbo. From your hypnotic loop. Bingo! That bloody did it. Okay, unlock the voice by... I keep saying unlock the voice. Unlock the safe by voice recognition. All right, we've got in here. Uh, music sheet. Now we're talking. A gun. That's cool. Hopefully I can use it. It looks like I can. Some poison. Bastard. If it's a hypnotic loop that you A metronome. At, trust me when I say that you're going to get one. These are all phenoxal documents. And some very blurry documents. <sighs> This is proof of all the experiments they carried out. The results. Even the names of every single person involved in this mess. Including all the young girls who went missing before they found Jennifer. Okay. Done. Now what? Okay, so the gun is an item I can equip. Ah, fantastic. Okay, I have a gun now. Whoa, yes. It's more like it. Let's go shoot some baddies. I guess that means I can shoot the lock off the door. Because everything else was locked, it seems. Let's find out. Let's find out if this is going to work. Oh, I might have to just do it myself manually. I'm coming, just... son of a bitch. Oh, it's gone very serious. Wait. I think there's someone behind me. Hello. Shit. He, he, he can't be hurt. Uh, let's just run around this table for a bit. Come on, follow me around. What are you doing? Don't go in there. Not, no time for that. Enough. I beg of you. I beg of you. That's locked. Oh. Okay, can I go through the crawl space? Maybe, maybe. Run. Why can't you move? Hello? I can't move. <laughs> ah. Oh, she shot him in the head. Thank God. Right, I can move now. Oh, he's just going to keep throwing me around, isn't he? God, there's so many glitches in this game. I can't move again. I think he's killed me. Whatever's happening, I know I can't move. I can't even move the camera. Can I have a look at my items though, which is nice. Get in. Get the milk carton. Go through the hole in the floor. Go, 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 go. Through you go. Very nice. He's going around the other way already. He's managed to break out. He's going to be around this corner. Look. I knew it. Ah! You shit. You absolute shit. I love the way she runs. She ran like that in the first game. Her arms like flailing out either side. It's brilliant. Look at it. That is a professional runner. Where am I going? No. Where did you even come from? Shoot him. Oh, that was the right thing to do. I need to talk now. <laughs> you shall tell me everything so I know. She looks insane. How are you going to make me? Are you going to threaten to kill me? Go ahead. Wouldn't be so bad after all. Stop chuckling to yourself, you weird. Oh, oh. What's she got? She got an injection. Do it. Inject him. Have that. I know 
lost track of Jennifer. That you've been following her movements since 1973. Fuck off! Well, that's rude. Where is she? And how many other Jennifers came before her? How many Ashmen? Those close ups, though. <laughs> <gasps> what is going on? This is insane. Just happened. Okay, where are we now? Oh, is it the mirror room? Yeah, mirror room. Okay. Where are we? Where the fuck are we? Let me out of this godforsaken place. I want to go home. It's in the back of a. To answer my questions. In the back of a truck or something. 